What's going on, Jerome's? It actually is a beautiful day. There actually are birds chirping in ish. I don't know if you can hear that. Hmm. Uh, but uh, Brian Flores has been definitely chirping and getting after things and acquiring free agents for his defense as uh, Flores has much had a much larger hand uh, in personnel this offseason. And the Vikings... They got two more in the, in the front seven. So Jihad Ward, as well as uh, Camus uh, Gruje Hill, uh, come on down. You're the next Minnesota Fighting Vikings front seven members. And also, uh, so Gruje Hill uh, is a former Texan. So, of course, Brian Flores, the star off season. It's, it's funny, man. All right, so uh, Grenard, Cashman outside. How about that? Uh, Griffin, and now uh, Gruje Hill. It's good times, man good times now uh, tbd uh, on the contract size uh, as right meow numbers aren't out i'm sure they're minimal deals probably for one year so they may or may not have an impact on the comp picks so who cares who, who cares at this point man but uh let's dive on in for the uh, uh two new vikings first up a uh, jihad ward uh, 29 years young 6'5 287 uh visited with the vikings yesterday and then the vikings decided to get their jihad on uh 2016 second round pick out of northern illinois go huskies Right. A uh, bit of a journeyman. Uh, so he was drafted by the Raiders and then bounced to the Colts for two years, Ravens for two years, uh, Jacksonville for one, and then finally found sort of found himself a place uh, with the Giants over the last two years. And, uh, of course, we know defensive line coach Andre Patterson, our guy, uh, got the best uh, out of Jihad over these last two seasons. Eight total sacks, a career-high five last year. And he, he does have some versatility. Like, he can play both sides. He has length to set the edge. Uh, he can effectively rush the passer. He can uh, stop the run. Uh, he can kick inside on passing down. So he's going to be all over the place, You know wh whether it's on the edge, five-tech, three-tech, what whatever tech, all the techs. Mm. Uh, and, and the Vikings. So now... Basically, they've effectively tried to replace Daniil and Wanham. Uh, Grenard is going to be a huge piece of that. Van Ginkle, I think, is going to be used even more uh, on the edge. Uh, he's a bit of a hybrid off-ball and edge player. Uh, Jihad, I mean, uh, throwing bodies in there. We're getting back to having the meets as well as a guy who has some upside as a pass rusher. Yes. And hold on. So I fully understand that, hey, why are the Vikings going this route and signing these you know, soon-to-be 30-year-old guys to one-year deals? Because Flores is going for it. And remember, every single guy that they sign, Flores has a vision. Flores has a niche. Flores has a job for these guys to do specifically. And it might not even be the job that they've done uh, throughout their NFL career so far. So I think it's going to be a, a whole is a, is more than the sum of its parts sort of situation. And it's like, we're out here to play team ball, man. We're, we ain't out here to put up PFF grades. Something like that. Hmm. Uh, Kamu, uh, Gruje Hill. So... This one low-key is a fantastic signing in terms of leadership uh, on the team, as this, this team has definitely gotten younger, as well as a high-end special teams as well. Uh, so, yes, another former Texan, uh, but uh, he's 29 years young. He's 6'2", 220, uh, 2016 six-round pick by the Patriots out of Eastern Illinois. Go Panthers? Hmm. Hey, Eastern Illinois, you have to atone for giving us Jimmy Garoppolo. That's all, man. But uh, Gru J. Hill made his bones uh, in Philly uh, four years and is one of the best special teamers in the league. Uh, special teams captain uh, at a number of spots. Plus, in a pinch, he has long snapped and he's kicked. So it's kind of awesome, man. Uh, he spent 2020 uh, in Miami uh, with Brian Flores. Uh, played some uh, key special teams there. 2021, bounced to the Texans and actually started uh, for well, – he started some games in Philly, but uh, he was a full-time starter with Houston 2021, uh, 14 games, 108 tackles, career high, also three sacks. Uh, and then spent some time with Arizona, and last year was with uh, the Carolina Panthers. So uh, definitely does bring some special teams prowess to the team. Uh, I think that he's a really good one-for-one -one swap for Troy Dye, uh, as well as he does have experience uh, as a spot starter, and he does bring depth to the linebacker room. So uh, here's where we're currently at defensively. Uh, so purple is the incumbents, and yellow are the new dudes uh, coming in free agency. Uh, so the Vikings have completely remade that edge room with Gennard uh, Van Ginkel and Jihad Ward. Uh, also look for them to add some edge uh, in the draft. Uh, they met with Dallas Turner in Alabama today uh if they stick and pick at 11 uh jerry tillery jonah williams uh, all up uh, on the defensive line you can also toss jihad ward uh, up in there as well uh cashman and grew hill you know providing some off-ball linebacker depth I, I think you can pretty safely pencil in cashman as a starter next to pace jr uh, because that's starter money and also got shaquille griffin uh in the cornerback room as well so uh, again flores He's he's the chef and he's buying the groceries. He, he's doing everything right now. So I, I think that he's putting together a very good defense. I think that it's also value conscience. And I can't wait to see what they do.
I can't. I, I cannot wait to see uh, Brian Flores' defense with actually his dudes. It's gonna be good times, man. It's gonna be great, man. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Viking signed uh, two linebackers uh, in, in Jihad Ward and Kamut Gruje Hill. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.